Surprise, surprise, guys. Sometimes I feel misunderstood. Whoa! <laughs> What a shocking news this must be to a vegan. Like most people, especially if they're a little bit more intelligent, they feel, they feel misunderstood in their life. Now, I just recently had this, this moment when I published like an infographic and uh, shared it like on all Reddit's, Reddit forums about veganism and nobody, nobody really seemed to get it. Now, what I usually do when I get uh, those events of feeling misunderstood is I like to put my life into perspective. And one of the ways I like to put my life in perspective is simply taking a look at, at interviews from Elon Musk. Now Elon Musk is probably the smartest person on this planet right now. He's doing a lot for this generation and future generations and he doesn't seem to get as much credit for it as he probably should deserve. He just recently made an interview with Jack Ma, a, a, fam a famous Chinese billionaire, about artificial intelligence. and. <laughs> The amount like how misunderstood Elon Musk felt in that interview is probably unimaginable. What are you supposed to say? Um, just things about AI, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, what makes Elon Musk actually quite charismatic is that he's so uncharismatic. Like he's very, he's very socially awkward. So what you see in this in this scene is that he's actually he was casually heading for like the water, and then he realized that Jack Ma is heading for the microphone, and then he changed it, and then he, he didn't know what to say. So that's that's quite hilarious. I'm told that does AI mean love? It, like is that, there's like a name AI. It sort of sounds a bit like love. Yeah, AI. I, I hate the word AI called artificial intelligence. I call it Alibaba intelligence. Yeah, <laughs> might might end up being true. You never know. Um, you know, Musk actually wants to ease into the topic by asking Jack Ma, "Does AI mean love?" In probably in Chinese and. Uh, Check Marcus' response with, I just wanted to be Ali, Alibaba intelligence. <laughs> yeah, but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false. Yeah. So, my meaning is cold that... room. Come on, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is just Elon Musk being a troll. 80% of statistics are false. And 80% is obviously a statistics in itself. So, but nobody <laughs> seemed to get it. Ah, awesome. Awesome. People worry a lot about this today are uh, those people I call them called um, uh, called college smartness. People like us, street smart, we never scared of that. We, we think it's a great fun and we want to change ourselves to embrace it. I don't know man, that's like famous last words. This was actually quite insulting from uh, Czech Ma because he told like, because Elon Musk worries a lot about uh, about the dangers of AI, but he's like, oh, people like us, street smart people, street smart people, the ghetto, the ghetto guys, they don't worry about, about artificial intelligence. Oh, man. Ugh. You could sort of think of humanity as a biological bootloader for digital superintelligence. If you, if, for those who know what a bootloader is, uh, it's a very tiny piece of code without which the, the computer cannot start. But it's sort, of, it's sort of like the minimal bit of code necessary for a computer to start. Like you couldn't evolve silicon circuits. You ne there needed to be a biology to get there. Good. Yeah. This is like Elon Musk dropping an absolute mind f comparing the human existence to a stepping stone to superintelligence as not the pinnacle of evolution, as some people might think, but more as a stepping stone to, to evolve uh, silicon circuits, which then could provide the, the breeding ground for, uh, for artificial intelligence. <laughs> like, the only answer Czech Ma has to that is good. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk must feel so much misunderstood at this moment. I, but he's probably used to that. This is the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth. Before this, it was not possible. 
how long will this window be open? It may be open for a long time, or it may be open for a short time. I think we should, it, it would be wise to assume that it is open for a short time. And, and, and then let us uh, secure the future, secure the future of consciousness, such that life of, the light of consciousness is not extinguished. And we should do, try to do this as quickly as possible. That's my view. Good. Uh, this discussion started with uh, Jack Ma telling, telling Elon Musk essentially does, that he doesn't believe that uh, we should be focusing on going to Mars. But obviously Elon Musk is a strong believer in going to Mars. And the reason he explains this, he went on explaining this for like 10 minutes or so, and it's very convincing that it's one of the best methods that we can make sure that consciousness prevails. Because right now we're not sure if there are any aliens. So by our current knowledge, we know that our current existence is probably most, the most advanced that there is in the universe. So Elon Musk, uh, sees going to Mars as an additional method on prevailing consciousness or making sure the consciousness survives because there's a very little chance that consciousness will go again in, in like will come up again because there are no aliens to this moment and the only response Jack Ma has again is good <laughs> good my <laughs> Because I think it's easy to go to the Mars when you go on the top of the hills or the, or the, or of the building, just the one step you go to Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, so that's, that's my that's view. That's how it works, though. I mean, that's just that's just starting to get real cringy right here. I mean, I like the face that Elon Musk has done before because uh, when he's when uh, when Jack Ma said that it's easy going to the Mars, and he's like. Elon Musk is probably the smartest person if combined with a ton of smart people working on like a really lofty goal of going to Mars. And then there's this, uh, there's this Chuck, Jack Ma saying that oh, it's easy. <laughs> oh man, it's quite insulting actually. We need a heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us. Working hard on the earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. Sure. I, I mean, to be clear, I'm very pro-Earth. Yeah. Oh. Great. That sounds great. Um. <laughs> That's just ridiculous, man. Imagine, like, you have to understand Elon Musk's position. Elon Musk is a billionaire, and Elon Musk could poss possibly just, like, lay back and enjoy his time in the islands, like, even after he sold his stock in then PayPal. But Elon Musk is literally killing himself, like, with stress and with the... With with the boundaries he pushes through, just to give us a better life. And then there's Jack Ma telling the audience that we need more heroes like us, more consumers. <laughs> That's exactly what we need. <laughs> Elon Musk is like, well, well I'm very pro-Earth. <laughs> like I so said, just 1% of our Earth resources on that order should be enough to make life multiplanetary. Seems like a wise investment for the future. Um, and obviously I spend a lot of my time on uh, sustainable energy with Tesla, with uh, you know, electric cars and solar and batteries and that kind of thing. And um, Elon Musk then goes on to explain that uh, he's actually very pro-Earth and that he's just, <clears throat> he thinks that at least 1% of our resources, which means 1% of our GDP, um, money should be spent on going to space and to essentially like guarantee the but like making sure the consciousness survives. <laughs> then like, I mean, I mean, Elon Musk even explains that he's like the one making sure that the earth is getting to a better degree, like by making sure that they have sustainable energy with Tesla and uh, with all the other stuff that he's do doing, like with uh, previously solar cities. So it's, I mean, I would pay good money to see how what Elon Musk would be is thinking at this moment. <laughs> in that discussion. So that's my view about jobs. Don't worry about it. We will have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I think that... Uh, Elon Musk isn't very convinced. <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out this Neuralink situation. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Um, it's very important we do this quickly. I think time, we don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
this is Pants that he creates uh, with Neuralink, which is his uh, company that is aiming to, uh, to forge like human beings and uh, artificial intelligence like with a robot to create like a cyborg which increases the survival possibilities of our uh, species when it comes to artificial intelligence like the future <laughs> it creates a suspense if you don't have much time and it just starts laughing <laughs> we don't have much time for what? we don't have much time to solve the neural link uh, yeah I... <laughs> this is turning into comedy, this is turning into full-blown comedy. I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. I let other people to solve it. Sure. If nobody can solve it, just let it be. That's my life. Elon Musk is exactly the guy. He's like putting the burden of his weight on his shoulders. Or like putting, putting the weight of the world on his shoulders. Uh, it's like the Atlas, uh, Greek mythology. Uh, which solves like the problems that we really we really need to be solving and if everyone thinks like okay let's just uh, have some other guy solve the problem we never go anywhere they're only working three days a week four hours a day and that is very important if we do not change the education system that we are in we are all in going to be in trouble that's my view and don't worry about it we will change it yeah Okay, let's go. Yeah. Um. So uh, Elon Musk is starting to feel really misunderstood right here. Uh, as they're talking about job security and where where we should like we should dedicate our kids or our grandkids in the future in, in the case of artificial intelligence. But the the reality that we're facing right now with the current science, like how it looks like with artificial intelligence, is that uh, <clears throat> humans are getting obsolete. Which means Homo sapiens, as we know it, will not be able to survive in the in the in the age of artificial intelligence until we got the rules in place. So we make sure that the artificial intelligence acts in our interest, and we make sure, or we or we we go together, like we uh, we create a cyborg, like a humans and uh, and a robot device uh, combined. And the thing is, like, it's a very hard question to solve, and. Uh, Elon Musk talks about this afterwards, that it's like, this is a, I mean, we don't know where to educate our, our children because the very high chance is that there's simply no need for humans in the future and that's why we need to solve this Neuralink issue that he's talking about as fast as we possibly can. And the humans, I think that when people worry about the, the disasters that AI is going to bring in, I think it's not the disasters, it's the mistakes that human beings make and trust human beings will be able to correct the mistakes and improve themselves. And that we, we need education. So uh, Jack Ma is bringing up a good point here, but the problem is uh, with AI is that the magnitudes or the long-term effects of our, of our mistakes get uh, worse and worse and worse. Which means, for example, if you found out fire when you were like a couple thousand years ago, the worst effect of your mistakes is you burning down the town, which will kill probably your worst thing will kill your tribe. But when you when we go to more technology, usually the the costs of mistakes increase exponentially. Which means if you do if you have like a nuclear bomb, a nuclear bomb can do way more damage than a, than a fire. And if you invent AI, AI can create irreparable damage uh, to that to that extent that we could not correct it human being will be controlled by machines I never think about that I think it's 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 impossible <laughs> right it's impossible because very short this is very much possible money I mean if you think about it the way we are controlled right now with uh, by our phone uh, just because the dopamine releases or the way we need it to survive on a daily basis for like business calls for calls per se to stay in contact with friends and family and uh, yeah just just the role companies like Google's have over our life it's Google has over our life it's that's quite mind-boggling and to some degree if you think about it we're getting controlled by machines right now computer may be clever but human being are much smarter yeah, definitely not. Clever. This is the point Elon Musk realizes that it's pointless and he just uh, doesn't give a f anymore. For example, when you love somebody, there's no reason normally. I just love him or just love her. I, I have no reason. But when I hate somebody, when I want to do bad things on something, somebody, there's a logic. And with, when there's a logic, AI can do better. 
what we do on our end financing, we, we teach machine all the bad things that bad guys want to do. Machine can learn quickly and arrest all the bad guys immediately. But when you want to do good things, not necessary. AI means love. <laughs> That's absolutely right. This is the moment Elon Musk has just completely given up on the audience. Because uh, Jack Ma made some claims about uh, the emotions of anger and uh, happiness or like love are different. When in reality they're both rooted in emotions and uh, can be explained logically. Both of these emotions are there because it increases our survival rate. And uh, Elon Musk obviously knows that and he's just like, oh, AI means love. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole room goes crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great human beings learn from mistakes. It's great to die. Haha. <laughs> That's probably true. Thank you. Yeah, you cannot There's, live long. I just like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Fight for the light of consciousness. Thank you, Elon. Nice talking. Elon Musk tries it once again with uh, fight for the light of consciousness, essentially, like uh, making sure the consciousness survives. Uh, because it's probably one of the biggest issues that we're solving like in the grand scheme of things and <laughs> no one, no one here really, really seems to get it and it's like this dramatic, this dramatic ending. <laughs> Thank you, Lovacu. Nice time. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, so this was the video about Elon Musk. I think this helps you when you feel misunderstood. Just uh, put your life in perspective. Think about Elon Musk being a very smart guy, he probably doesn't get as much credit as he should be getting uh, for his work that he does on a daily basis. So guys, if you like this video, please uh, push the like button, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I would love to see you guys next time. See ya. The mission of this YouTube channel is to put veganism across the goal line. If you want to help us achieve that, like and subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's make food production great again.